what is happening guys this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming so in this tutorial we're gonna download and install the IDE you know it stands for integrated development environment in our system so we're gonna be downloading a IDE called the Eclipse you know which is normally used for developing programs in uh, different different programming languages and they provide a IDE for Java also and I think uh, it's one of the widely used IDE available in the world and uh, we're gonna download that so first of all if you guys want to know you know why we have to use an IDE then you know to run a Java program you know as I told you before in the previous tutorials you know we need to run our programs through the command prompt and uh, we need to enter some commands there but you know when you develop programs you know you know, every time you don't want to write the commands in the command prompt and execute that so what you want is a simpler solution for that and within just one click you can execute your programs so the IDs are gonna allow us to write the program in an editor and also they're gonna provide the syntax highlighting and also you know we can run the programs in one click so these are the benefits of using an IDE so it is not necessary that you guys need to use an IDE. You guys can run it from the command prompt, but if you're using IDE, it's gonna be simpler. So let's begin. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the eclipse.org, which is a website where uh, Eclipse IDE is maintained. And uh, we're gonna go to this downloads. So here you guys can see we have Eclipse standard edition and also we have uh, the Eclipse IDE for Java developers, Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers. So what you guys can do is you guys can download the IDE for Java developers or you guys can download the standard edition. So I got this standard edition because you know it provides much more features but if you guys download this Eclipse IDE for Java developers you're good to go. And also make sure that uh, you download the proper version for your operating system you know either Windows, Linux or Mac and also for the specific type you know the 32 bit or the 64 bit so I'm running a 32 bit system so I'm gonna be downloading this one and uh, once you click on this it's gonna take you to a um, mirror and you just need to select a mirror and the download starts so I have already downloaded and installed it in my system so I'm not gonna be downloading it again all right guys once your download finishes you guys can see a zip file in the location where you have saved your download and you guys need to extract this so I'm just gonna right click here and I'm gonna use uh, WinRAR to extract it and I'm just gonna click on this extract files and uh, I'm just gonna give the location and it's gonna extract the file alright guys once your extraction finishes then uh, what you can do is you guys can open up the folder you know the extracted folder and inside that you guys can see our uh, Eclipse folder and uh, you guys can see the application Eclipse here so what you can do is you guys can create a shortcut to your desktop so that you know you guys can launch this Eclipse easily and I just need to double click on this uh, application you know Eclipse application and it's gonna launch the Eclipse IDE and also make sure that you have installed the JDK in your system otherwise you know Eclipse is gonna produce an error saying that you know you don't have installed the JDK so you just need to download and install it so here when you launch this Eclipse it's gonna uh, ask for a location to store the projects that you're gonna create in this Eclipse so by default it's gonna be under your home directory and uh, workspace folder so if you want to save the project there you guys can just click on this ok otherwise if you want to save your projects in some other locations you guys can change the location also so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, change the location so I'm just gonna go to my computer and uh, local disk F and I'm gonna create a new folder here and let's say Java video tutorials source alright just gonna select that and click on this ok and, and also I'm gonna click on this uh, use this as the default and do not ask again and then click on this ok and now it's gonna open up the Eclipse IDE after loading all the resources alright once you open up your Eclipse ID you guys can see the welcome screen so what you can do is you guys can close it and now uh, you guys have the Eclipse ID to work with and uh, you guys need to create a Java project and you know start writing the code so I'm just gonna show you how to create a project and also how to run the Java code here in this tutorial so first to create a project you guys need to go to file new and uh, here you guys gonna select Java project and you guys need to give your project name uh, let me say testing and then leave all these things as it is and click on this next then click on this finish 
that's it now if i uh, enlarge this testing you guys can see a source folder inside that we're gonna create a class file so i just gonna right click here and go to new and uh, class and you just need to give a class name and let's say welcome and then uh, we're gonna have the public static void main method so if you guys don't understand you know what are these things don't worry you know you know i'm just gonna show you how to run a java program in eclipse so follow the steps so just select this one and click on finish and uh, it's gonna open up the welcome.java and also you guys can see a uh, meta here and what you can do is uh, you guys can write a line so just copy and paste the line that i'm gonna write here it's gonna be system dot out dot print line and we're just gonna say hi and save your project by pressing ctrl s or go to file and uh, save and then uh, click on this run button here and you guys can see here in the bottom uh, the output which is high so this is how you guys can install eclipse ide in your system and also run a java program so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, in the next tutorial we're going to be start writing the course in java so stay tuned for the next one